thank you very much that we are able to ask our questions. Is, is happiness or joy something that we should actively pursue? Or is this active pursuing of it rather standing in the way of it? Or also in the way of uh, being able to to surrender to our soul. These ideas of happiness or joy or even desires for things we want to reach or possess or own, all of these are constructs. These are constructs which happen in the thinking. They happen in the conceptual part of the being. Because if you were to ask someone, what exactly is joy? Or what is happiness? They won't be able to really answer so easily. Because the culture you come from, the background you come from, the social structures in which you function, these are all determinants of what joy or happiness is. So the more you follow or pursue the idea that you want joyousness or you want happiness or you want the neighbor's wife, the more there'll be misery one can ask the question, if that's the case, then what are we pursuing in any case? Or why are we undertaking a transformational process? Or why Self-Realization at all? Because if everything you want is a construct, then what's the point of this whole exercise? And what can be said there is that there is a state of being which is not something you pursue, but rather something you begin to experience. You begin to realize its existence. And that state is the state of surrender. It's a state of being entirely attuned to the to the to the master of your being, to the soul, which is actually that center of you, of what you call you. The goal there, if at all you want to call it a goal, is simply to, to reach that original state of being. So it is not a pursuit of joy or a pursuit of happiness. And certainly, if you are desperately looking for joy, then the chances are very high that you will get caught up in that maelstrom of desires and yearnings and wantings, that, that storm that is surrounding you. And you won't so easily then actually draw into that center, which is the center of yourself, and then experience it in surrender. If a transformation process is undertaken, then it is not in the pursuit of joy, or in the pursuit of happiness, or in the pursuit of anything. Rather, it is to get rid of all the unnecessary flotsam around, to get rid of that which is standing in the way between this and the experience of the Truth, the Soul, the Source, the, the surrender to that to that experience. Instead of telling ourselves we want joy, we want happiness, we want the neighbor's wife, we ought to actually be turning that gaze inward and, and, and simply uh, wanting to be in the experience of surrender to Source. We are not here to identify with Source in the sense of to say, I am that, I am Source, I am, or I am Presence. When we say that, in the moment we say that, 
It is the ego that is taking over and identifying with that and declaring, I am that. And from that point on, it is not self-realization that happens, but ego realization, a growing ego realization. And that is actually one of the biggest mess ups that has happened in the spirituality of the 20th century, flowing into the 21st century. This idea that I am, that I am that. Because the I that is claiming that it is that is, an, is a creation of the ego. The more it feels that it is that, the larger and larger that ego grows. So, one is defeating the purpose of Self-Realization. Self-Realization is the experience of the entire being, every cell of this body, being in surrender to Source. It is the acknowledging of that presence and being in surrender to it. In other words, this body, this very thisness, is an instrument in surrender to the impulse of Truth that comes from that Source and that, that impulses this system, this body, this entire being into action from moment to moment to moment to moment. the pursuit of joy, the pursuit of happiness, the pursuit actually of anything stands in the way, because those are ego creations. It is simply a process of feeling, of experiencing this, first this, which is the, the body, the experience of thisness, and then the experience of surrender, and then the experience of being an instrument of the impulse to which one is in surrender. And this is not something which is a beautiful idea in a book. It is a very doable experience, it's a very experienceable experience, because it's so real, that's here, it's now, and it's this. It's not an I am that, and sort of pushing away, or retracting from all the pain and suffering around. It's not a retracting, it is a moving into surrender to the, to the I am. The statement is not I am, the statement is, this is in surrender to that. And this is a experience that one can have actually moment to moment to moment to moment. It's not something that just happens once in a while. It's a continuous reminding one of oneself actually of of the experience of thisness. I am this, I'm here. What is that I that is here? That I is a simple name of a person. It's your name. It's enough. Or you can add your mother's name to it, because that's at least a fact you can be sure of. It's not a creation in your thinking, but a, but a, a fact you can be as close to shore as one can be sure about anything. So, and you take that, your identity, your name, and being the daughter of that, that, that woman, and that is enough to be this. And in a state where there is confusion around, where there is suffering around, where there is turmoil and, 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 and pain, and all of these things, 
those are the moments in which you train yourself even more than ever to gather into the center of this, in the eye of the storm, the quiet. And the I, which is you, which is your name, that I moves into a state of surrender to the experience of soul or source or the center. You will replace the pursuit of joy and happiness with the reminding of yourself of the experience of this in surrender to source or truth or soul whichever you feel comfortable with to call it in Sanskrit it's called the Antar Atman the inner Atman the individualized soul or source that is how a life can be lived with that growing experience and that growing experience is what we call Self-realization that's what it is the realization of the experience of Self and that realization grows as the surrender grows and as that surrender grows this this entire being becomes an instrument of that of Truth it just moves with the impulse of Truth from moment to moment to moment We have to come away from this 20th century pop spiritual madness of identifying with Source and assuming that, that that is then it and that is enlightenment or awakenedness. No, it's not. It's not. It is the ego refusing the suffering but inviting greater suffering because it assumes that it is that when it is not and it refuses to transform the storm but simply retracts from it into a sort of a, a, a glass house the great challenge is just to be in surrender in surrender Surrender is the main word there, the key, the golden key. Thank you, thank you very much.